This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 2, this is the first section The Reality of Life and the Unreality of Death. Truly there are no obstacles to peace. We cannot transcend together in forgiveness. Forgiveness is letting go of valuing the ego, which could also be called death. The ego was an attempted denial of God. Yet, Such a belief cannot really change the truth of God's love. For nothing can change eternal love. Yet, while the ego seems to offer something of value, God's answer cannot be completely heard or accepted. For the ego is the belief that there can be a substitute for God. And the Holy Spirit teaches that there is no love but God's all-encompassing love. The attraction of death is an attraction to a made-up identity image and to all the distractions and defenses that are part of the image. The image is the ego, or death, and it attempts to masquerade as a real entity with a life of its own with the power the sleeping mind gives to it. The ego cannot be an obstacle to peace if belief is withdrawn from it and faith is placed in the Holy Spirit. The ego, death, seems attractive only because it seems to offer an alternative to God, who is feared by the sleeping mind as an angry and punitive God. God is nothing of the sort, but to a mind asleep that believes it has actually separated from God, This is its unconscious fear. It has projected its fear onto a made-up, angry God and is afraid to turn to this God for help. There seem to be pleasures associated with the made-up image and its world, fleeting as they may be. And to the sleeping mind, these pleasures are attractive and therefore sought after. Yet, idols never give lasting joy and contentment, for they are temporal. They rise and they fall, for they could never substitute for eternal love. While the ego and its idols are valued or attractive. By definition, death still seems attractive to the sleeping mind, for again, the ego is synonymous with death. There is no death. This is realized in the light of God's love. The ego has no foundation and illusions are but error. Once faith has been withdrawn from the error, the error is no more to be experienced as real. This is the meaning of awakening, the overcoming of death. You allow the spirit to raise the ego error to the light of truth bring illusions to truth and the darkness of death is no more. 
Death is not the death of the body. Death is the belief that separation from God could actually occur. To transcend the ego, then, is to transcend a belief in the impossible. Once death is seen for the illusion it is, it is no longer attractive. For who would choose illusions when the light of truth is experienced as love and when love is no longer feared? I am joined with you in the life and love of God. You are as perfect and changeless as God created you. And I give thanks. We are one self. Amen.